Welcome. In this video of inventory management, we will look at an example of basic fixed order quantity model. So as you have seen in my previous videos, there are two basic type of replenishment models. One is called the fixed order quantity model and the other one is known as the fixed time period model. Just to recollect, the fixed order quantity model has a fixed quantity which is ordered while in the fixed time period model, the ordering happens at regular intervals or rather regular periods of time interval. So in this one, we we'll look at an example of basic fixed order quantity model. Now, when I say basic, what this means is that all the aspects of the situation are known with certainty. So that is what we are going to look at in this example. So let us go through the example. Following data has been provided for an inventory. Find the economic order quantity and the reorder point. Now, in an inventory, if you are an inventory manager, basically these are your two main concerns or two main decision points. How much to order and when to order. And that will control your entire efficiency of the inventory that you are managing. So let us look at the data that has been given. So we have been given that the annual demand of this item is 1000 units. That means annually there are 1000 units which are required. Ordering cost is $5 per order. So every time you write an order, there is a cost associated with it paper, stationery, time of the person, etc. And that has been given as $5 per order. So if you write more orders, that means you purchase less quantity per order, then your ordering cost increases. Holding cost is $1.25 per unit per year. So if you order a lot of quantity and keep it in your inventory, then you have to pay holding cost for the inventory. So you can't order a lot of quantity and keep it in your inventory as your cost of holding increases. The cost per unit, that is the cost of purchasing this item per unit is given as $12.5. Now lead time has been given as 5 days. So that means the time taken after you have done the ordering for this item to reach your inventory is five days. Now the average daily demand is 1000, which is this annual demands divided by 365 because 365 days are there in a year. So average daily demand is 1000 divided by 365. So this is the information that has been provided to us and we have to find out how much quantity should we order each time we place an order and how frequently or when should we make the order. Now, while we solve this example, I will use some symbols for each of these items. However, these symbols are going to change as you go, but the concept that is what is this cost representing that should be clear to all of you. So, Let's say annual demand, let us call this out as capital D. The ordering cost, let's say this is capital S. Holding cost, let us say this is capital H. Cost per unit, 
let's say this is capital C lead time let's say this is capital L and average daily demand because we have already used the capital D let's denote this with a small d okay now we know that the economic order quantity or EOQ is found with the formula square root of 2ds divided by h this is 2 multiplied by the annual demand multiplied by the ordering cost divided by the holding cost so this will become square root 2 multiplied by 1000 because this d is 1000 multiplied by s which is 5 divided by h which is 1.25 so on calculating this the answer comes out to be 89.4 units so this is the economic order quantity that should be ordered by considering the trade-offs between all these costs, the ordering cost, the holding cost, etc. This is the quantity that should be ordered. Now, next we have to find out the reorder point. Let's denote this as capital R. So, reorder point basically should happen at a point when you have enough inventory to be able to meet the time that is going to take for the order to be fulfilled. That means, let's say you have this is your reorder point. Now, if you have replenished this inventory with this much item, you have your inventory stock coming down and this point should be the point after which your quantity remaining should be able to meet the demand during this lead time this is the lead time let's say so this is time and this is quantity so if this much is the lead time whatever is the demand during this time that should be met so basically the reorder point is your average daily demand which is d multiplied by l which is the lead time for the order to be fulfilled so this is equal to 1000 divided by 365 multiplied by 5 so this will come out to be 13.7 units and you can round it off to 14 units so when your inventory has 14 units remaining in your inventory you should place the order so this should be 14 so what in a sense this means is when the units in inventory drops to 14 place an order for 89 more units so your economic order quantity is 89 and reorder point is 14 units so as soon as your inventory so basically this from here to here is 89 so as soon as you hit this point when your remaining inventory is 14 you place an order for 89 units again so that when your inventory gets depleted immediately you get a replenishment of 89 units again
and then again your cycle will continue and so on. Now while we are at this example, let us also try to find out the total annual cost. Now what is total annual cost? So total annual cost is equal to your annual purchase cost plus your annual ordering cost plus your annual holding cost. So if we put this in terms of a formula, it becomes total cost is equal to annual demand multiplied by the cost per unit. So that will give you the cost of purchase for the entire quantity plus annual demand divided by the economic order quantity multiplied by the ordering cost. This is your annual ordering cost because you are dividing the annual demand by the number of units that you are placing per order. So that will give you the total number of orders you are placing. So if demand is 1000 per order, you order 89 units, then your number of orders that you are placing is 1000 divided by 89. And that is multiplied by the ordering cost. So number of orders multiplied by the ordering cost plus Q by 2 into H. This is your annual holding cost. So on average, you are holding an inventory of the economic order quantity divided by 2. That is how you do the average multiplied by the holding cost per unit per year. So let us now calculate this. So this becomes 1000 multiplied by 1.25 plus 1000 divided by 89 multiplied by S which is 5 plus Q that is 89 divided by 2 multiplied by H which is your holding cost that is 1.25. So this comes out to be 12,611.81 and this is in terms of dollars. So the total annual cost is this amount.